What up, Internet? You're Miguel Nico here at Cliff Jones RV in Sealy, Texas. Today we have a brand new 2024 Forest River Cherokee Gray Wolf 29TE. By the way, Cherokee is the number one selling travel trailer in America. Absolutely cannot be beat for the price point, all the built-in features and quality construction you get. If you're looking for a phenomenal multi-sleeper floor plan, this is definitely the one. It has a separate bunk room so you can have more privacy for your guests. So starting out up front right here, we have a power tongue jack. All you have to do is press and hold. It goes up and down. You also have a light in front to see early in the morning and late at night. By the way, this RV has built-in solar, the juice pack from the factory. So everything that's on right now is running off of the solar panel and the battery. You wanna make sure that your tow vehicle has a seven-way plug. This communicates your lights. If you have a brake controller, it communicates your brakes. And if you have a direct line charge, it'll charge a battery while you go down the road. We have two safety chains here on this little cradle, keeps everything nice and neat and out of the dirt. It is a two and five sixteenths ball. Here we have the two propane tanks. Here at Cliff Jones, no hidden freight charges, no hidden make ready charges. We'll make sure that your propane's filled up, ready to go. Battery is pre-installed as it has a juice pack from the factory. Right over here, we have your main exterior storage. It does have an LED light in there to help you see. And then to the right, you have your solar controller where you can monitor your battery voltage. Another great change on these RVs is that we have magnets instead of clips. So it's really easy to open with one hand and you don't have to worry about those magnets becoming brittle and breaking over time as plastic clips tend to do. This door leads straight into the bathroom. Really easy access if you're at the beach, at the lake, you can walk straight in and keep all the dirt out of your camper. Here we have a large electric awning with blue LED lights. They match the marine gray speakers on the outside. You can play music just inside, just outside or both. We also have a TV mount here with coaxial and power. Also a black tank flush for your bathroom, so it makes life easy whenever it comes time to dump your black tank. This will reduce smell and give you more accurate tank readings while the water goes through the nozzles and cleans it out. This is a dual axle as well for better towability. You can also see here on the windows that we have a mirrored finish. That's a solar tint for more privacy and energy efficiency. This is gonna be the main entrance here. Both doors are a friction hinge door, so they will hold themselves open in moderate wind. It is a tempered glass finish as well, so that enables you to have a window in your door. You can add a Lippert thin shade for additional privacy. Here we have a screen door to keep bugs out. We do have the upgraded more ride step above steps on the main entrance as well. These are phenomenal steps, really easy to bring in and out. And you can press this button here to adjust your feet. There is no give when you have them set up properly because the feet touch the ground. And coupled with the extra large door handle, it's really easy for people of all ages to get in and out. We also have a phenomenal outdoor kitchen right here as well. This one works on main power, easy access to food and drinks. We have an extra storage tray here, Greystone griddle as well. You can cook just about anything on it. Be a perfect setup for a day like today. Ice maker here for extra refreshing drinks, built-in sink here, and even overhead storage. Coming around the back, we have a cargo rack here rated for 200 pounds total. So if you wanna put a generator, ice chest, bicycles, things like that, this will accommodate it. And then we also have a backup camera included as well. That's a thousand dollar value. Backup cameras can save lives. So now we'll go around to the other side. So over here on this side, we have the prep for the Lippert on the go ladder. We have these available in parts. If you wanna inspect your roof as you should periodically, it just hooks right on and you can climb up and down. We also have a bumper here as well to keep your sewer hose out of your interior storage, keep things nice and neat. And then this RV does have two ACs already. So we do have 50 amp power here to run everything. This is gonna be the storage underneath one of the bunks in the bunk room. And then also just wanna point out that on these newer models, we do have a cable driven slide system. This is a new improvement on the Gray Wolf models. And coming around this way, we have one termination point right down here. So your gray tank will be your sink and shower. Black tank will be your toilet. You don't need multiple hoses. And then we also have this convenience light outside as well, so you can see our connections. If you want additional programming, we have cable here, but it does include an antenna on board on top for local channels. Right over here, we have an outside shower with hot and cold water to keep your feet nice and clean. Here we have a city water connection as well. Just hook up a water pressure regulator and your hose. It'll give you continuous water. If you wanna go off grid, we do have a fresh tank as well. There's a 12 volt pump inside, just turn it on and it circulates your water. And then we also have a tankless water heater as well, which is a $3,000 value. As long as you have propane, you always have hot water. So that'll do it for the outside. Now we'll go inside the 29TE. All right, welcome to the inside of the 29TE. Here we have the slide in, just wanna show you what is accessible while you have the slide in. You can easily work your way 
through the kitchen right here, access to the three burner cooktop, access to your sink, microwaves below. You can get to your fridge right here as well, which is really great. If you wanna have a picnic on the side of the road, and then you can also get to your pantry as well. Now the slide right here, you might be able to shimmy through and get to the bathroom, but keep in mind, you do have that second door on the outside. So you can go straight in and access the master from there. So right here, we have the brain of your RV. This is your control panel to control your slide, the awning, lights, water pump. We now have a 12 volt tank heater pad as well to prevent your tanks from freezing. And then here we have the voltage meter for the solar and AM FM radio. So let's go ahead and pop the slide open. All right, so now we have the slide open. You can see how much of a difference it makes having this slide out room. It does have the U-shaped dinette here, plenty of seating for family and friends. You can also convert this into a bed as well to sleep too. And then we also have 40 inch drawers to go all the way back on both sides for efficient storage. Right here, we have a couch. This also converts into a bed. These armrests are removable and it lays flat just like so. And another thing I wanna point out about this floor plan is that the way the bathroom is set up, the entertainment center is angled. So with a lot of other bunk houses, it's gonna be flat. So if you're sitting here on this side of the couch, you have to crick your neck more. But with this one, it gives you a much better viewing angle. And there really isn't much here to hinder you from putting a large TV here versus other entertainment centers. Over here in the kitchen, we have a large pantry, plenty of storage for an extended stay. And then here we have the 10 cubic foot all electric fridge. It cools down super fast and offers you anywhere from two to four additional cubic feet of space. And keep in mind, everything that's on right now is working off the battery and the solar panel. So on a day like today, it'd be really great to go off grid. We have plenty of overhead storage here in the kitchen. A large reason for that is that we now have a convection air fryer microwave. It's an industry first. So it saves space, saves propane, and it cooks food really well. We also have a three burner cooktop here. Rear two burners are for simmering, front ones for boiling. We have night lights here. And then we also have an igniter for the stove top as well, so you don't have to use a lighter. Working our way down to the sink here, you can see we have great counter space. You have two power outlets right there. So coffee makers, blenders, crock pots, whatever you need, plenty of power. We have a cutting board extension here. You can also strain your vegetables as well, and then also your dishes and utensils as well. So they add quite a few extra add-ons to the sink, which is really nice to see. It is a large one piece undermount stainless steel sink as well, much more sanitary than plastic and easy to keep clean. You do have a high rise faucet as well to give you more room here in the sink. And then we now have a new cup washer as well, which is really neat. Here we have underneath storage. Right here, we have the trash can out of the way. And then here we have an extra drawer for utensils. And then just wanna show you real quick, before we go in the bunk room, this is gonna be the thermostat for the main AC. So the main AC is located right there. This does have a racetrack system, so both ACs work together to cool the whole unit. Much more energy efficient, much quieter. So let's go ahead and pop in here. So here we can see the second AC. This vent is open right now. So on hotter days, if you have people back here, just keep this open and it cools this area more. And then the rest of the air goes through the rest of the ducts. If you wanna go ahead and just close them both, it's really, really quiet and you'll get 30,000 BTUs of cooling, which is gonna be the equivalent of about six window units. So here we have one bunk here, one bunk here, you do have power and USB up here, as well as coaxial, so you can set a TV here. Great storage in here as well. Here we have a ladder to get to this bunk. This one is also a little bit wider. And then we have extra storage right down here as well. So you can sleep eight in this RV total. Coming up this way. This is gonna be the main door to the bathroom. And then here we have another thermostat. Up front, we have the master. So we have a ward on each side for hanging clothes. We have power, USB-A, USB-C, and a dock for a Bluetooth speaker here. Nightstands on both sides. And then we also have a backer for a TV mount here. This unit has real privacy doors, not pocket doors. So whenever you have those pocket doors, Whenever you bring them in, you have to take the TV off, but you don't have to worry about it on this model. And then here you can access the bathroom. So if you want to get to the master, 
You can just come in this door and go right through here. So you have access to the full coach, even with the slide in. Here we have a large corner shower. It does have a full shroud on the walls to protect your walls from moisture. Many other RVs just have the panel board, but not with Cherokee. We also have a skylight for additional headroom and natural light. So it's gonna be very, very comfortable for most people. Right over here, we have a light switch. Here we have the thermostat for the tankless water heater. Just select your temperature. You'll always have hot water as long as you have propane. GFCI power, dedicated sink, medicine cabinet here, storage below. And then right above right here, we have a variable speed fan. We do recommend to get a guard from our parts department. That way when you have it on, when you're going down the road and have a window open, you'll keep debris out of the fan here and your RV will be 10 to 15 degrees cooler versus not having it. So this is gonna be the Gray Wolf 29 TE. It just became available here in Sealy. We have the best prices and the best service around. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like and share and thank you so much for watching.